We never speak about this again. So we've got a bit of an issue. That's not good. That's not normal. We've got two new crew coming. Koiba can surprise you in many ways and the amount of life that you can have there, it's impressive. I have a fantastic crew. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Isn't it? <laughs> it's five hundred dollars for that no, for yeah. that bet I lost. Oh, I don't oh, want oh. it. What was it? <laughs> we never speak about this again. I want to know. No, I can't take it. I lost the bet. Fair and square. What's the plan for today? Oh, no, it's a good day. We're going to the beach now. Is Tom wearing my hand me downs. <laughs> Like, look, come out this morning, like, hey, look at my new shorts. I was like, it's my birthday, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got here last night, late. We're at Santa Catalina. It was a uh, not much wind, so we had to motor a long way. But we're here in Santa Catalina. What a beautiful spot. We're parked right in front of the beach here. Nobody on it. Dogs are going for a paddle. Let's go. Get the beach. Good boy. Uh, <laughs> off to a wobbly start. You going as well? Going paddleboarding. The beach. If you're in a hurry, if you miss a little point, you should enjoy the fruits of life instead of chasing. Thank everyone for coming today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a man of words. No, thank what you. A... Another year. Hopefully, we make another one. <laughs> pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, you up for a birthday haircut later? No, nah, no, nah, I got one yesterday. I got a pre birthday haircut. Yeah, no, nah, so look out, she's on the white wine early. So. I was busy baking. What do you think we were doing the whole morning? You girls have done a great job. Thank you. So, yeah, You've got to eat all, all the blue ones. Yeah. Just like to thank everyone for coming tonight. Fourth birthday in Panama. First one in Santa Catalina, which is muy bien. So here's how, do, how does it feel to be 36 years old? How does, how does it feel? <laughs> No different to yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just follow your dream like I did, and this is where I found myself. Two cakes in one day. <laughs> Two fucking cakes in one day. Are you kidding me? Who are you? What is Spanish? It takes 36 years to get a body like this. 
be yourself and go with it. Like, life will change how you want it to be, not that day you turn that age or that day you say, oh, I'm going to be this. No, no, it takes ages to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first with Jamie Vanderbilt, ladies and gentlemen. You can't, you can't be beat like that. This. Got a bit of an issue. Um, just looking at the color screen display for the Victron and the port side panels on the hardtop aren't producing any power. And I've tested the voltage at the charge controller, and there's zero volts coming down. These are brand new panels. We've just installed them, so we've got to figure out which one of these panels, or if both of them, or if the wiring from the panels to the charge controller has a break in it somewhere pretty kind of serious because if there's a short somewhere if there's a if it's disconnected somewhere that could uh, short out this is high voltage it comes down at 90 volts so got to try to figure this out so it's one of these two panels here or both of them something's going on um, we're not getting any voltage so we'll start here we can disconnect this one quite easily right here ah oh, I say easily but it's not too easy to so that's one. The other one. The other one is here. We'll cut this. Okay, and here's the other connection. And then we can at least see what's happening with that panel. Troubleshooting, baby. Okay, there we go. There's one. Okay. All right. Let's see what voltage we have coming out of this panel. So that'll be this one and that one. So put that on DC power. So this is the positive, this is the negative, 44 volts, there's full sun on that right now, these connections, let's take this one with this one, oh that's normal, that's normal, sorry, that's normal, that's totally normal, so the panels are fine, yeah. 44 plus 44 is about 90. I was looking for 90, but that's 90 when they're connected in series. So if we connect these two back up, which we have. So now they're in series, so we should get 90 volts between that and that now. 90 volts. So when we connect those up, why isn't it getting to the controller? Is that something to do with that connection coming off? This connection's good, but this thing pulled out, yeah. This just pulled straight out of there. <laughs> That's not normal. Should go in there. Should click. What's happening, fellas? How's it going, Mark? <laughs> Is that the panel? That's not working. Yeah, well, they're working. It just, voltage isn't getting down, but this thing was not pushed all the way in there. Could be the problem. We're back on. So we're getting. No, we're only getting 36 volts. That's not right. That's not good. That should be 90. Look at these. 60. 36 volts. Why is that? Here we go. This could be the problem. We've got the, the shade of the mast right down the center of this panel. If that shadow moves we might we might get up in voltage i was looking at the wrong panels it's this um this one is connected with that one and this one's got quite a big shadow over it that's not only got the mask but the spreader as well you can see that so this panel and that panel are connected together and only bringing down 36 the ones we just connected up are bringing down 62 so that's which good. is which is good because there is the shadow of the mast right through that one as well so everything is restored we were potentially losing five, six hundred watts um, every hour from that not being connected. So all is good. Port, so it's the port side panels and we're 49 now. Which is understandable because of the mass shadow. We're bringing in 1800 watts of solar. Um, AC loads, that's probably my computer. 
and maybe a couple of phones is 130 watts and the, there's a hundred amps going into the battery bank right now and we're at 73 percent this new setup is incredible we just did a review on it flick back a few episodes if you want to watch that about the whole install of the the battleborn lithium and everything but we got 100 111 amps going into the battery bank right now from the sun so here in santa catalina apart from the surf the other thing that this place is famous for is the diving last time we were in the area we uh swam with whale sharks so we're going to have a similar experience again if we can so we're going to um panama dive center we're going to go talk to them about maybe seeing if an instructor can come out to uh koiba like the marine reserve and um come diving with us Also here trying to get laundry done. It's the second place we've been to, and they've seen how many bags we got. We could do it on the boat now that we got the water maker, but we've got to like stomp it in the chili man, and it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So it's much easier just to give it to someone and pick it up for five bucks a bag. Uh, so apparently, there's a lady that sits on the beach here that does washing, <laughs> and she, <laughs> she just dumps she it in the, the ocean. Laundry up here in the ocean. <laughs> Salt crystals all over the clothes. <laughs> One percent battery. Whoop whoop. What's up, everybody? Okay, some more exciting news. What was the last bit of exciting news? Oh, the diving. Cool. So we got two new crew coming. They were on a boat in Playa Bonao near us, and uh, they decided to leave that boat. They spent some time in the city, and now they're joining our boat. So we are going to pick up Blake and Brittany. Brittany's from Canada, Blake's from the States somewhere, I guess. They're surfers, they like to fish. And they like to party. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we love this place, but there's only one place to really land the dinghy, and it's on the beach right at the end of the main road there. And it's kind of sketchy. There's rocks in front of it, and these the swell that comes in here breaks onto that beach, so the dinghy gets swamped almost every time we go in there. So they're going to have all their luggage and stuff with them. So we'll try not to uh, get them too wet. Okay, I think we got a bit of an opening. There's waves breaking just over there. We've been a bit shaken up since our uh, play of an hour experience where we had the dinghy flip. So the craziest thing just happened. We were surfing out here. One of the waves flipped the dinghy and it was floating upside down. So we're like, oh shit. It wasn't very fun. <laughs> oh shit, what's happened? What up, bro? <laughs> you made it. Made it. <laughs> no Thanks, dude. No worries. Oh, going, guys? Good. Jump on in. Oh, Welcome to Palo. Make yourselves at home. My name is Blake. I'm a merchant marine. Uh, I drive tugboats in Alaska. Uh, in the summertime, we deliver fuel and freight to native villages that are spread out all over the coastline and up a bunch of rivers. Now I work on an ATB, it's an articulating tug and barge. We all together, we're about 250 feet long. How did the tugboat captain end up on Palo? I came to Panama to help take a sailboat to Galapagos Islands and then French Polynesia, but that trip fell through. Uh, I met you guys and we got friendly and your voyage plan sounded real fun and like a lot of surf and a lot of fishing and a lot of exploration and and I was very into that. Well I'm excited, an actual proper surfer on board. Let's go get it. Let's go. You. <laughs> so it's my first day here, super excited to be here. Um, I've been brought on to kind of help with the YouTube channel, edit and shoot videos. So I'm here going through a bunch of Delos uh, footage uh, for my first episode that how's, we're going to be how's that looking? editing. How much footage is there for that? Tall order. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a lot of footage, a lot of coverage, so it should be fun. And you're friends with Blake, you guys are on the same boat together. Yeah, so Blake and I are crewmates from our old boat. Um, it was about destined to go to Galapagos and then onwards to French Polynesia. Unfortunately, things didn't work out. With a beautiful sort of happening of events, we kind of crossed paths with Parley. We quickly became friends and then jumped on for this adventure. Besides helping out with the videos, I would really like to become a more confident navigator. Uh, I love sailing, I love surfing, I love the ocean. And um, yeah, I'd really like to get some more hours in sailing and go on an adventure. Let's go. You!
Morning guys, we're gonna go back into the dive shop this morning, Panama Dive Center. We're gonna meet the dive instructor, Jose, who's gonna be coming out to uh, the islands with us and also collect a little bit of gear. We need a couple more tanks, maybe a couple of BCDs, and then uh, get ready. Tomorrow morning we're leaving early, like five in the morning, and get out there and just get a bunch, as many dives as we can out there. We've got one compressor, it's a bower on the other boat, but it's a pretty slow fill. It'll just depend on how fast we can get those things charged as to how many dives we do. Let's go. Here we are at Panama Dive Center. Let's go say hi. So there It's going to be two days, right? Two days. Yep. But there are eight of us plus Jose and Mikael. Mm -hmm. So ten people. Mm -hmm. We have six full sets on the boat. Mm -hmm. Of BCDs and, and all our divers. Uh, everyone's dove before, but mm -hmm. some of them aren't qualified. Remember that this is a remote area. Yeah. The first location for assistance is six hours mm -hmm. apart from where you are. Right. So take that in, into account. For sure. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. don't know Jose yet? No. We haven't met and this is the intuition. <laughs> okay, good. This is the guy that is going to be with you. Uh, analyze the closest point. Yeah. And, so that would be the first option on the piece of blue spot for the discover right on the beach. I think Canales, you have plenty of dive sets there and it's beautiful. So. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. It is good to accommodate 14 tanks in the boat? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. You organize the people. Try to not to put um, more than two people and experience with Jose. Okay. Right? And it's the safest way that we can manage. Yeah, okay. And have a fantastic trip. And what makes um Poiba such a special dive location? Coiba have very, very interesting characteristics. It's part of the marine corridor of the Pacific that comes from uh, Galapagos in Ecuador to Cocos Island in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. It's point of uh, many migrations, like humpback whales that we have uh, yeah. between July and September. Coiba can surprise you in many ways, and the amount of life that you can have there, it's impressive. You jump into the water and you have all the life there from yeah. the reef and also a very healthy uh, white tipper shark um, population. Yeah. This is the kind of experience that you can have in Koiba. You yeah. can be impressed all the time there. It's also um, uh, a UNESCO heritage uh, patrimony okay. and uh, we need to protect it. Yeah, that's the situation with Koiba National Park. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for uh, supplying Jose yeah. and some gear. <laughs> fantastic. I hope that you have the fantastic experience there. Well, there you go, Camilo. Such a nice guy, man. And that's the first time we've met Jose as well, who's going to be our dive instructor out there. He's got a fair bit on. He's got nine of us to uh, take care of out there. So a lot of responsibility, but I'm so excited. It's going to be great for the, uh, the crew that haven't had many dives before because they're going to learn a ton, hopefully see some big animals out there and uh, can't wait. Mm -hmm.